Hi, my name is Mark Jaeger. I produce landscape, wildlife, and tutorial videos. This video presents a visual tour of the north rim of the Grand Canyon as seen in October 2020. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mark A. Jaeger. During the opening, you saw some brief clips previewing what's to come. The clips which follow have a relaxed pace to allow you to really see the scene. This is Vista Encantada, which is the first of the overlooks along the Cape Royal Road. In the distance, you can see the flat land that has been cut into by the Colorado River. This has exposed the layering of the rock in the canyon walls with many differing colored strata. The foliage adds a little seasoning to a rocky scene. At this second overlook, which is just an unpaved pullout, not identified by signs, you can see the Colorado River in a wide angle view. The depth and breadth of the canyon is impressive. The clip which follows zooms in a little to show more detail in the same general scene. I love the colors in both views. One evening, I decided to visit the North Rim Lodge. This sunset time lapse is from Bright Angel Point, which has an access trail starting at the lodge. The progression of the shadows and the color changes as the light falls off are typically only seen with time lapse capture. In this clip, further along the Cape Royal Road, the colors are especially striking with the addition of lots of greenery and bold reds among the layers. Although you're driving short distances, more or less in one direction, every pull-out vantage point or overlook has its own character. There's something unique at each spot. This is Roosevelt Point. Unlike the last overlook, it is one of the well-developed vantage points with lots of paved parking, pathways, retaining walls, and signage. Next, after Roosevelt Point, there's another popular developed vantage point named Valhalla Overlook, where the Colorado River is visible again. This is the end of the road. We're now at Cape Royal late in the day. The haze from the California wildfires influences the view, but these two clips show the rock formations in golden waning light.
when you turn off Highway 67 onto the Cape Royal Road, if you go left at the wider section, you go to Point Imperial. When you park and take the stairs to the overlook, you're rewarded with this view. One day, I decided to check out the eastern portion of the park to see the Vermilion Cliffs. For those of you like me that have a simple color palette, Vermilion is a shade of red. Here are two cliffs with very differing colors in the rock layers. In the first clip, the colors are almost all shades of red and tan, but in the second clip there are lavenders and orange added to the mix. The green vegetation adds additional character to the view. Here we are back at the North Rim Lodge. There's a number of trails to varying vantage points. This clip is shot close to the lodge, looking roughly southwest. The last place I visited is a bear cat to get to. The road, at least for my 4x4 truck, was rough. Real rough. But once at Point Sublime, you realize that the trouble to get there was effort well spent. Here are two clips showing you some of what you can see. It's hard to pick favorites amongst so many great views, but if you have the right vehicle, you might want to go to Point Sublime. I'm closing with a sunset scene near the North Rim Lodge. The compression of time enables seeing the light and color progressively change. This clip shows about 45 minutes of clock time. I hope that overall you found this sampling of the Grand Canyon North Rim enjoyable. I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching.